thoughts on the resolve that your team showed through kind of a, a wacky game? Yeah, I thought we had good poise tonight. Um, you know, it was a little wild, and then um, end of the third quarter, we, you know, the wheels seemed like they were coming off, and I thought we stabilized and closed the last minute well, and then uh, the group that started the fourth quarter um, built a nice little cushion for us, seven or nine point lead by midway through the fourth. Those guys did a great job. Can you just maybe go into the type of balance that you all had offensively tonight? Seven different guys in double figures, and um, it, it seemed like everybody was kind of playing to their identity. Yeah, I thought uh, offensively we had a really good night. Thought um, made the right plays, shared the ball, um, had a couple of a couple too many turnovers. Um, but other than that, I mean, when we got a shot on the basket, we had good possessions, and you know, guys really played our style. So pleased with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can't control, you know, who who everybody pays attention to nationally, but um, we have a lot of confidence in our team, um, in the group of guys we have. We have great young professionals that are really committed. We have a lot of talent, young talent, um, and they play as a team. And, you know, we have a chance for the whole to be better than the sum of the parts. That starts with Shea. As a guy who's obviously really talented, he wants to be a team-oriented player. And so, um, you know, he empowers the the environment and he empowers the team and um you know i think that's what you saw tonight you know like that that group to start the fourth uh really stretched the game for us you know it went from them having the momentum at the end of the third to you know us having it you know midway through the fourth quarter like i said so we have confidence in everybody we are really optimistic about what we're building but it's going to take time get a young team we got a long way to go still coach what did you what was your perspective on the rudy kind of tripping situation what did you kind of see and did you feel like that was an intentional move by him uh, I'm not going to comment on intent but I mean I saw the, the play I saw it play out and then you know whenever they go to the monitor like that I trust that they get it right so I'm assuming they get it right just as a follow up to that what do you think of the chippiness of the game overall I, I lost count but I think there were six or seven technicals in this one yeah I mean a lot of it wasn't between the teams. I mean, obviously yeah. that play was, but, you know, it was, it was between, you know, them and the refs. And, you know, I, we had one, so us and the refs. Um, but, yeah, it was a little amped up. But, you know, two competitive teams, and this is the third time we've played them in a short period of time. And so, um, you know, our guys were hungry for the game, and they were too. And, you know, that happens sometimes. You talked about that group that started the fourth quarter. J Dub specifically had nine points to assess in the, in the first five minutes of the fourth. Like, what kind of charge did he bring there in that in that final quarter? Yeah, huge, and and you know hadn't really done a ton at least scoring wise up until that point. And the thing that continues to impress me about him is just his willingness to let the game come to him. You know, he's he doesn't force himself on the game. Uh, he just. Uh, makes the right plays, you know, whatever the game dictates. And I thought he did that for the majority of the game. He was helping us even before that stretch and then got his cracks at that time and, and really, you know, got us going. And then Josh hit a couple of really big shots tonight, had 12 boards, seven assists. What did you think about his game? Yeah, you know, he was all over the glass. Uh, thought he played a really good offensive game, um, spraying the ball all over the place, was ready to shoot. I liked the shots he took. Um, the shots he, he made were early passes, um, they created rhythm for him, and you know that's a positive thing for our offense. So, um, you know, we got contributions up and down the roster tonight. Those guys were really good. Coach, it was a really fast-paced game. I know that's that's part of your guys' identity, wanting to get out and play fast. They were also playing fast. What did you think of the, the way you guys were able to handle that throughout the night? Yeah, I mean that's and that's what leads to big swings. So you got to be able to kind of emotionally stay centered uh, when you play that fast, you know. And they leaned into it once, especially once Gobert was out. I mean, they went small and played really fast. So. Um, you know, it, it just it doubles down on our poise. You know, I thought our poise was really important tonight uh, because there were some runs. There were times where they kind of were throwing punches, and we kind of just stood in there and, and got our defense back into the game and continued to just trust each other and get good shots. You had a sequence there, back-to-back -back possessions, where Robinson Earl was actually the guy catching the outlet pass and created five points in transition for you. Just, I guess, what does it say uh, that? If, 
effectively your center is able to run fast break through the middle of the floor for you. Yeah, they were like up the floor on those and um, you know, he just was kind of free and we want to advance the ball to each other and we don't really care who it is. And so uh, I think K. Rich found him on one, might have been Josh on the other. Um, yeah, we trust everybody to make decisions and if, if teams are going to uh, take risks in the backcourt, then we want to attack pressure. Uh, he gave us an edge tonight, that's for sure. You know, and I thought um, second half of San Antonio the other night, we started him after a 77 point first half, and our disposition changed. So, um, you know, he's a guy that gives us a lot of confidence in, in his toughness. You know, he just he doesn't fear anybody, anything, any game, any opponent. Um, and it's contagious. You know, there's certain qualities on a team that are contagious, unselfishness, uh, motor, um, and, and that toughness, you know, fearlessness. So he's a huge part of us. Anybody else? Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yep.